Hey everyone, Technomint here with a video for you guys. Now in this video, we're going to show you how to fix your Wi-Fi not working on your iPhone on the latest version. So let's get started. Now for some reason, Wi-Fi isn't working for you or you can't connect or maybe you're connected and the internet is not working. You want to follow these steps. The very first thing is pull on the control menu or pull it up if you have a home button iPhone. Put your phone on airplane mode briefly like that and then turn it back off and that should do a quick network refresh and if Wi-Fi wasn't working it should now start working as well. Now you can also do this from your settings just turn on airplane mode and turn it back off just like that and again a quick network refresh. Wi-Fi can be accessed in two places you can go from the control menu you can press and hold and then press and hold again to discover the Wi-Fi network like that or you can do it by going into your settings and then Wi-Fi and then you can see the list of the Wi-Fi available. Now another thing to do is maybe you're joined on a network and it's not working. You can do is disconnect or forget this network and then rejoin to that network. Make sure you know the password. So you're going to join again and then enter the password here. So I'm going to go ahead and enter my password by sharing it from another device here. So just like that I rejoined the network basically disconnecting and reconnecting and hopefully after that your Wi-Fi is working. Now let's say it's still not working. The next thing you want to do is go ahead and force restart your iPhone. Now in order to do a force restart you're going to press and release the volume up followed by press and release the volume down one after another quickly and then hold on to this side button until the screen goes completely black and the Apple logo appears. So I'm going to do volume up, volume down, press and release and then I hold on to this side button just like that and you're going to keep on holding it do not use the slide to power off option just keep on holding it so that it can force itself to shut down and then we're going to wait for the apple logo to appear and then at that time we'll let go of that button and all that is doing is shutting down the phone software and reloading the code so if it's a software related bug glitch that's causing wi-fi not to work it will fix it this method will not delete any of your personal data so all of your photos, videos, apps, everything will still be on your phone. Now another good thing to do is that if you have another device, maybe another phone, another computer or a laptop, check the Wi-Fi to see if it's working so that you know for sure that the, the Wi-Fi works on the other device, that means it's not a problem because if it doesn't work on another device, it could be that your modem or the router or your internet area has an outage right now. So you want to go ahead and uh, try to restart your modem and router generally that means just unplugging it for about a minute and then replugging in back and after that it will restart and then you're going to try to join your Wi-Fi again. Um, while you're at it the other thing you want to do is if you're still having the issue or you realize the Wi-Fi works on other devices it just happens to be the iPhone what you want to do is go into your setting from there on we're going to go to general then go down all the way to transfer reset then click on reset and we're going to do a network reset. What a network reset will do is basically resets all saved Wi-Fi connections, any Bluetooth connected devices, and it is important to do this in order to fix that Wi-Fi not working. This method will not delete any of your personal data, so all of your photos, videos, apps still will be available on your uh, phone. It's just resetting the Wi-Fi networks like Wi-Fi and such. And as you can see here, you see the Apple logo up here, which is completely fine. Just gonna wait till the phone goes back to home screen again. And again, this reset again is just resetting the settings themselves. Keep in mind though, if you connect it to any previous Bluetooth devices like a headphone or to your car, you'll have to set that up again. So after that, you're gonna go back into your settings and hopefully this time Bluetooth is working and you can go ahead and click again to join your Bluetooth network again. So I'm gonna go ahead and join here to my Bluetooth network by going into basically sharing the Wi-Fi password from another device. Now, if for some reason that is still not working for you, the next thing you want to do is update of the software of your phone by going to your settings, general software update, and check for if there's an update available. Now, if you see this unable to check for update, what you can do is update it through your iTunes on your MacBook. And the reason why you want to uh, do it through there is because you're most likely going to get this unable to check for update and the only way to update your phone would be in that case connecting it to again a computer using iTunes or the newer MacBook the Finder app to update it which we made a video on how to do that if you want to check that out it did, does take a little bit time. 
Now, lastly, if none of these work for you, even if you updated your phone, one of the very uh, last troubleshooting is to back up your phone, do a factory reset and restore. Again, that's another video which we covered. It does take a little bit of time and a little bit more lengthier effort. So if you want to check that video out as well as a final option if your Bluetooth or your Wi-Fi isn't working. And I hope your Wi-Fi is working after following these tips. If so, please consider the like and subscribe button. Also, if you found another way to fix the problem, do share with everyone in the comment section. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.